Hello everybody, I am Zeofate, and welcome to another episode of Hammerting. Um, well, looks like they've got some uh, updates coming out since the last time I recorded. So let's take a quick look at this. So, uh, looks like they've... Basically, they've nerfed damage from enemies for a while. It's supposed to be temporary, but that's just simply because... Uh, came too hard in one of the earlier updates, but that's uh, no issue. Let's see, uh, dwarves can now steal haul jobs, making hauling more efficient, okay. Now possible for dwarves to refuel or extract items from inventories using the same positions they use when delivering items. Okay. Uh, it's now possible to set attack orders against layers. That could be useful. Uh, can now toggle uh, storage accepts items from ground or not. And if it accepts items from buildings, that can be potentially useful. Uh, okay, filters. Uh, okay, new storage filters, add settings. And support for input remapping, that's always nice. Uh, right click to toggle to allow a dwarf to do a certain profession. That's, that can be useful. Uh, left click to toggle a profession as favorite. Favorite professions do not affect the gameplay, unfortunately. Uh, Oh, but it is shown in the UI, such as the job broker and equipment menu. That could be useful for when setting up later on for haulers and everything else like this. Base production value, which is less now sorted by this value. Um, okay. Oh, equipped item. Windows been reworked, so uh, let's take a look at those. Since it's a new update, we will start a uh, new game. So we are going for a new mountain. We'll start off. And we'll just shut that down. You guys are in here. We'll quickly pause that. Now let's take a look at some what they're talking about. Oh, they gave us a button here to go quickly to the recruit doors. That's that's nice. It means we don't have to constantly be clicking over here. Uh, job broker, idling, arriving. Yeah, that's no real difference. I still wish that I knew what that was. Okay, so if we go and find one of our dwarves. Ah, we can go in here and tell them, hey, we don't want this person to haul. So we can adjust basically in here. That's... Well, that's good to know. Okay. Well, we got dwarves idle and we can't let that ha that stand because, well, time's a passing. So let's start getting our quarries going. Yeah, looks like you got a bunch of copper in there. That's nice. Oh, well, got a bunch of... Uh, material over here. Let's start getting some of that worked out. And we'll get started. And... Well, of course, let's get our speed up there. Okay, in here, 
for a crafting queue we want uh, I'm gonna keep 10 chunks we're gonna keep uh, well, let's just keep 10 of everything in place Interesting. Uh, let's see what that does. Oh, it automatically sets it to uh, repeat. That's that's good. Okay, so we'll let that one go off. This one I'm not going to set up just yet, but uh, we will use it for selling our pillars. It's a good way of getting currency right off the bat. Get that mined out. Cancel that one. Okay, don't care about the cave missions, and I think I should be able to turn around and Camford Bridge. Yeah, that one we can do easily. So we'll get that started, and knowledge, let's get metallurgy, and so we can turn around and we can get our foundry set up. And start making things look nice, at least uh, floor-wise. And so there. Just a reminder to, uh, you've always got to have at least one brick so that people can get in and out of these structures. Otherwise, they turn around and you won't be able to get in or out. So, I'm. No, oh, there's the Omens of War. I'm gonna want. Uh, let's keep 10 of those going at all times. And now let's go take a look in here for the Omen of War. Now it's gonna need uh, uh, ingots, so. Hopefully these people get them built. Nope. Yeah, got it. There we go. Let's just pause that. Because then that's going to get completed. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, well, it looks like we got some new skills. Still, we're going for the experience gain first off. Might as well level them up as quick as I can.
Okay, well that looks to be about as far as we can go that way, but we got some material there. So we'll get that mined up. Yeah, that looks like it'd be as far as I can go that direction. Oh no, that's uh yeah, we can get down there. So let's go. keep exploring down here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down here. Oh boy. That's a bit of a ways away. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, reaping just rewards. Okay. Let's get your next experience boost up. Got a lot of mountain lore, but not a lot of trade lore. And since we're going to go for... Oh, they definitely changed up the... Uh, definitely changed up the research setup. So I need formalized learning and machinery, which I also need trade relations for. Now well, that's going to get me the trade relations. And we can get formalized learning. And I need advanced casting, then machinery. Okay, so cave farm. Set you there. And for homes, let's uh, first get our floor set up in here a little bit more. You know, just get it set up going just a little bit. You guys are going to lock them in there, aren't you? Okay. So I'm waiting on two of those. Somebody's down here, isn't there? Yeah, you. 
So you need to come back. Now. Uh, let's go three. You can dig all out over here. Build you to mine. Let's get that dug out. Okay, you're done. Uh, let's see. Water restores morale, so let's keep uh, 10 of those in stock. That restores energy, so we'll keep 10 of those in stock. I know I'm going to need that eventually, so we'll keep 10 of that in stock. Let's see what we got going on in the overworld. Beams. I think I got some of those kicking around, so that's no big issue. So we'll then go up and keep getting our experience going. Eventually you'll mine your way so you can get out in there. talent point. And blacksmith and metallurgist. Let's uh, go for hit points. And you're going for experience. And you're ready for delivery. Right. I paused you. That's three lanterns. Can't quite do that yet. That's uh, woodworking techniques. That's for hmm. They definitely changed around the stuff in here. But anyways, we're going for cog drill, so the next one I need is advanced casting, and I also need blacksmithing. So let's get blacksmithing. So it's going to be advanced casting, which is our next one that we're going after. Let's get our smithy in place. Then we can start lighting up things a little bit. And we got more uh, copper. gotta start uh, not mining on things to fall down. Ooh, 
we've got even more copper laying in back here. And with the smithy done, time to upgrade some tools. We'll get, uh, well, I'm going to need a cook, farmer, don't need them right now though. Well, the only two real tools that I need right now are the pick and the hammer, so I'm going to need 12 handles. Just, uh, shut those off for automation. So we'll get those made. So that can get us some uh, inflow. Let's craft uh, Hundred and twenty. If you hold down control while you're hitting the plus button, it uh, automatically adds twenty. If you're holding shift, it'll add five. So let's see in here. Anything we can do right off the bat? Let's get. Uh, well. Actually, let's get medicine, because I'm going to want a way to heal sooner rather than later. So let's get our infirmary, and we'll just uh, tuck you right there. Yeah, we got a little bit more upgrading we can do. Let's get you some hit points. And we'll get you that extra experience boost. Since I got time, and I forgot about that new button already. Ah, 3 and 71, 3 and 8. Mm, let's hire you. Don't quite have enough for anybody else, just at the moment. Start getting you upgraded. Okay. Now in the storage, let's get uh, nice. It shows if it's better or worse. That's a rather nice improvement. And it also show, hovers over the equipment spot that it's already in. Oops, that one already, uh, I was already assigned to somebody. That should get the gear equipped and upgraded at least. Which in turn should speed up a lot of the crafting. Okay. So each of these restores health. So I'm going to keep those crafted. I'm going to set each of those to 10. Because then hopefully I'm going to actually have some healing items kicking around. Because uh, 
Yeah, I've already made that mistake once that a viewer has pointed out. Where I've been uh, wanting them to heal and... Yeah, I hadn't made any healing items. So, yeah. Well, so you've got outdated... So all my doors have outdated equipment. Yeah, well, I already knew that because I haven't been able to upgrade any of the others. Let's see here. Uh, I need woodworking techniques for the axe. Uh, let's get some uh, overworld missions done. Since you guys are done most of the rest of that, let's uh, get this start mining over here. Well, he didn't go quite as far as I thought you were. We'll get you mining over there. I'll have to fix that in a bit. At least they're mining a lot faster. Kind of wish uh, these would auto complete once they, or auto deliver once they're done. But let's get in here. We'll get our cooking in. And we need advanced casting, which I need more mountain lore for, but, uh, and, uh, Oh, we need a specific knowledge for grain milling now. Okay. Advanced casting gives us ingots, metal sheets, heavy pickaxe head. Uh, let's get woodworking techniques because we're probably going to need it at some point. Uh, and we get more upgrades. And let's see. We've got a cookhouse that we can put in place. I think I'm going to set that cookhouse and stuff down here. But we need to get it finished mining out first. Oh, there's another war message. Eh, hit the wrong spot. We should have gotten us more trade lore, well, just a little bit. I need mushrooms for that. At least I'm getting some healing items made up. Doesn't surprise me it's the ooze, simply because that's well, that's really all I've encountered so far. Yeah, let's get our cookhouse. I can't put it there because that's there. Still should probably mine this out. Well, there's that's gonna get us some hide. And bones, theoretically. I really need to get the homes going. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll just do the center layers for homes. Let's get those start set up. Let's see, I can nudge you up the one. And that's going to be pretty bang on level. I'm leaving a four gap because that's where I'll put in a uh, like elevator. How did they get down there? Okay. Well, we got homes now, so... waiting on a little bit more to finish up. Uh, no idea if I can do that one. The second one I should be able to do. Well, I'll assign you to you. But I need to get a floor in there. So let's see, that's... That lines up there. So let's get up you to, let's up you to 40, you're going to up to 20. Oh, you're ready to go. And let's see, that's storage, not useful just yet. We need Inspirazor Stone Bridge. Uh, I need advanced casting. I need more trade knowledge for that. got down there pretty good. I 
Yeah, no, I need to improve the lighting around here, so... Where was that brazers? Oh, don't quite have enough mountain more. Oh, that's how you got down there. Oh, that's, uh... Since that restores health, let's keep ten of that in stock. Okay. Well, we got uh, another Omens of War. And another overworld mission in here. Let's uh, quickly accept that one. And we got our Omens of War. so we could get the uh, brazers. Right, wrong one. Hmm. And we got advanced casting. Grains and milling. That's going to get us hard tack. And it's going to get us hauling, which we don't quite need just yet. Mainly because we don't have enough dwarves to just strictly haul. So let's, uh, we're going to hold off until we got the mountain lord we need for brazers. Uh, actually, you know, we need advanced casting. Definitely need more mountain lore. Ooh, more loots. So let's get that all queued up. And we now got a foundry. Which I'm going to turn around and use to figure out. That's a big gun. And that's uh, definitely larger than most of the buildings I'm used to dealing with. So we got the uh, cave farm, got the infirmary, got the smithing. It's arcane workshop is the only one I don't have a right setup. That's the infirmary. So get the arcane workshop set up there. Okay. And let's see what we got in here. Parchment just needs hide, so we can... Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's keep uh, five of those in stock. Lime requires the bone ash, which uh, we might have a little bit of. Let's keep 10 of that in stock at all times. And that just needs parchment, but that's dwarven map. Let's just keep one of those. And now I've got iron ingots, so let's... Uh, get those set up to keep 10. Well, I don't think I'm going to have them right now. 
we're going to put the sheets in specifying that we want them to be copper. And I'm going to do the same thing for them. Because I'll need them eventually. Nope. Let's see what we got in here. That is really easy. Looks like they've improved the pathfinding AI for the mining just a little bit. Oh, it's, uh, now they're actually doing a pretty good job of it. So that's a good upgrade. Still, we need more dwarves and uh, I'm out of coin, so... Well, uh, granite chunk. Yeah, you don't make any granite chunks, so let's... Uh, that's because the storage is full. Let's just set it to 80. And in here... Now, is there a way that I can hold shift and just sell? Mm. Detailed tooltip. And I need a sell hotkey. Let's leave things leave pretty I will start Now for axes for the mill, which is one of the things we get, the axe heads and the axes themselves are something that seems they're always needed. Hmm, heavy pickaxe head. Hmm, nice. So, but, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's actually get that completed first. Because that'll throw off my numbers. That's interesting. It shows up when you've got uh, specific knowledge you need. Okay. May not necessarily be what we want, but uh, it shows up. That's access for the mill. Just need some ingots, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. And let's keep uh, one of you in stock at all times. But now, let's start getting our own equipment upgraded. I've only got five doors, but I'm planning on hiring more, so let's get ten of you made. Curved handle. I'm going to need thirty, because I'm going to be having ten dwarves total. And I'm going to need to upgrade everybody's equipment. So for the heavy pickaxe head, I'm going to need 10. And so that's going to get me the three base. Now I'm going to have a couple people, well, I'll hold off on that just for now.
Let's see, I need iron, and I haven't found any yet. So let's uh, start getting some light in here. Might help me see just a little bit better. Looks like we got some material over here we can mine. Well, there's an overworld crisis. Ooh, you need a pickaxe and hardtack. Yeah, you guys aren't pulling any punches, are you? You're forcing me to take that one. So since that one I have to take, that means I need... Oh no, I don't need a cave farm. I should have a cookhouse already made. That's the farm there. So I'm going to want to keep 10 wheat at all times. Wait just a second for you to get the first one. Okay, that's good. And then we got the... That's the infirmary. I don't have a cookhouse just yet. Yeah, because that's the farm. Let's see here. That'll go there. I might be able to pull this off in time to get this. I'm not 100% certain. But I might. I think I need... No, that would, probably took one of the picks I already had built. Because you're just making the... Uh, yeah. I forgot to set up one of the more important things in here. I forgot to tell, turn around and craft the items. Or for this one, I want to set the uh, curved copper handle. And then the blacksmith hammer, I want the curved copper. And then for the pickaxe, that's the farmer's right there, it's the pickaxe. I want the, oh, have I not made any of that heavy? Yeah, I, have. I should have. Ah, still making the handles. Okay, gotcha. And out of fuel. Let's get your movement speed up.
I need coal. Which I don't know where I've got any. You're taking a while to do. That's copper. That's not what I need. It's more copper. That's copper. That's a long drop. Anything over here I can use. That's copper. That's dead end. That's all copper. I might have to turn around and turn some of my logs into uh, charcoal, which is not something I wanted to do. And where was that? Let's, uh, let's just make four of those. And let's get our, our cookhouse up and running. So first thing we want to do is in here, we're going to set gloom wheat. You're always going to keep, uh, let's keep 10. Uh, and that's going to require hard tack. That's going to use gloom flour as soon as that's made. So we'll hold off on that for a sec, just a second. Just long enough for them to hopefully make at least one. Right, nobody's got a ladle. Sorry about that little bit of noise. Uh, it was unavoidable, so my apologies. Uh, getting back into it, I quickly went through and paused some of this stuff till we got... Uh, the cook's ladle done, which I'll now turn around and restart. And in here, let's go find that ladle. Right there. So we need to equip uh, oh, you got a cook level of four. But you're also, no, nah, you're actually not too good on straight blacksmithing, so we'll set you up strictly to cook. And that should hopefully get some you once that's uh, grab in there. Let's grab ourselves. No, let's uh, use the new button they gave us. So we'll hire you. 18 silver for you. Yeah, I can't afford you just yet. And we'll hire you. And we'll... My goal in here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to get all the level 1s and I'm going to go get all the level 2s. Then go for level 3s, 4s, and 5s. If possible, if they live long enough. But uh, we'll find out. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything here. I'm going to go through and get all of our dwarves some of their upgrade updated equipment because uh, they need it and just let this stuff uh, 
percolate out while uh, things are going, and we'll call it an episode. This is Zeofate signing out.